Oh, hello. Um, shoot. I'm having issues. I had technical difficulties. Um, my cats chewed my diva light like all dead. So I don't have a diva light anymore. And so I tried to set up lighting. Now this lighting is like too bright. Oh, but without any lighting, you can't see anything, see me, nothing. So <laughs> guys, this is just crazy. I guess live streams, you never know what's going to happen. What's going to go on. They're just always a little nutty. Oh, and I don't know. Of course my cats. It's like, where the heck Dobby, come on, come on Dobbs. He's just looking at me like, what do you want woman? I don't think he cares. So, uh, and let's see, let me get the chat up, show chat messages. I, no, it's not showing chat messages. Oh, uh, so anyways, my, my plan today was, um, I have this huge collection of Michi bags. And if you don't know what Michi bags are, they are this convertible purse system and they came in like, four sizes, which I have three sizes. And so they're like, you know, cute little purses. But the thing is the outside part literally comes off. They don't sell them in the U S anymore. The company went out of business and I looked through my collection. I'm going, why do I have all this stuff? I mean, I'm probably fine with like one or two purses. So I was going to downsize. And then as a giveaway, um, I was going to give one of the commenters a free Michi bag because I actually have some of the new, um, the, the bases, the, the part that's inside, which is called the base. I have like one or two new ones still in a in a bin. So I thought, well, someone will love them. And if you're in Canada, Michi still sells in Canada. So if you win a base, you can still buy, you know, the, the, what are they called again? I don't know. They're these, they're little, um, cup, the little covers, they still sell them. And I have, oh my gosh. Okay. So I have covers. These are crazy how many I have. And these, I'll show you how they, it works. They go, you just kind of pull the old cover off, which are you going to come off easily? No. Oh man. And one of the cats has decided to make a mess in the litter box that's in the living room for the kitten. Cause I can smell it and it is not a pretty smell. Ugh. Okay. And it's good that it's not easy to get them off because you don't want them popping off if you're carrying your purse. So then you just kind of match it up and there see you got a whole new purse they have like different handles that came with so you could change handles out and you don't have to use just their company's handles because I've bought handles at like Joanne fabrics and stuff in their craft section where people make purses and I've used those so yeah I'm I'm going to downsize I just need to decide what I'm keeping and what I'm not keeping. And then some lucky people are going to be getting a bunch of stuff. Cause you know what? I haven't even used like this size purse <sighs> probably in a couple of years. So I'm thinking I have four of them that I should probably just keep one and then find new homes for all the other ones. Maybe some other people might, you know, be happy with getting them uh, I'm sure because these were really popular so I had that one there's this cover polka dots oh my gosh I have a red some of these they're not even they haven't even been taken out of the packages this package is still factory sealed so that one is kind of like a ostrich and teal. If I haven't even opened them, yeah, I, I don't need them. This one is kind of like a snake skin. 
Um, this one is like a burgundy crock, I guess you'd call that. So, these are all definitely going. I have more, but I'm just going to start a pile of the ones that are going bye-bye. And they might go in the package to whoever is getting, you know, whoever wins the purse. Um, this is another kind of snakeskin one. Yeah, my cats are finally coming. Are you? Come here, Dobby. Dobby says hi. He's like, Mom, I just want to chew on the purses. That's his favorite thing. He likes chewing on the purses. So uh, there's that cover. That one's kind of cute. I don't know. I'll put that in the possibly keep pile. So, like I said, I'm going to keep one of the, the mid-sized purses. This one was um, one of those hard to get ones where I guess it was a limited edition and everybody wanted it. Okay, let's see. Here is another. And this one's a green with cream. If I put this back in the bag. So that is all of the, the covers I have in this bag. Let's see. Oh, and I also, like I have this in white. Well, actually, it's, I don't think this one's white. I think this is off. No, maybe it is white. Let's see. It has handles. Yeah, I'm thinking maybe this entire purse, find a new home. Because, yeah, I just don't recall the last time I used these purses. I mean, and it, it doesn't do any good to keep on to, you know, hanging on to stuff. Um, I'm really bad at hanging on to things that I shouldn't be hanging on to. It's just, it's like that hoarder mentality thing that I've got. Oh, <laughs> Dobby is in a box. Arr, Dobby, say hi. <laughs> oh my God. Arr. Say hello. So I know you're here because it's the people in the co who make comments who are going to be in the drawing for the free purse. So you need to, to let me know that you're interested. Oh, no, no, Dob Dobby, don't do that. So let's see, that's gonna go, this is gonna go. So I'm already downsizing, yay! I mean, it had gotten to where there was just no room for everything that I had and yeah like I said and if you're in Canada you can still order the shells that's what they're called they're called shells you can still order these shells because we have to buy them off of eBay here and it's way too expensive and somewhere the baby is I wonder if he's climbed back or she has climbed back up on my couch She's just been running around like a little crazy kitten. Oh, so that one was the, well, there's a tiny size called the petite. This is one that I just showed you was the classic. And then this one is their lar the largest one. So this was a shell from the largest one. And I do, I think, have um, extra bases for the large one. But it's like I have like two in similar colors. It's like I don't need that many. So I'm thinking maybe this one, keep this one and get rid of this one. Oh, just decisions. Yeah, I've never used this one. This one is sort of a deep bluish that one's gonna have to go I've never used this green one 
I'm thinking pretty much just, should I even keep the larger size bag? I mean, I don't know. There's a burgundy. It's, it's crazy how much I have. Let's see what is in this. I think this is some sort of Lux. Which Lux is it? Oh, it's the, the pink one. Yeah, they have these Lux ones. And these sold for like over $100 for these shells, for the Lux. I mean, it was crazy how much for just... A cover for a bag people went crazy for them on online when I was selling I had managed to get um, this certain shell that everybody wanted and I sold two of them for over like $120 on eBay and I I don't know people go crazy for them this is the this is it put one of the big ones put together Let's see on lunch break so yeah maybe I'll keep a couple of the larger shells but get rid of most of the smaller ones and I was thinking if there's anybody and you like are interested in a certain size I can send you some of these you know I don't mind doing that oh there's Let's spread the Michi goodness, right? I don't, I don't need everything. Because I actually have a dress that goes with that. Look at that. Is that not cute with the world map and stuff? This was another one that um, was a limited edition. And <laughs> Dobby wants to play again. Oh, yeah. Dobby says hi again. He's having fun. It's the plastic bags. He loves these plastic bags. They're just like catnip to him. Oh. Huh? You gonna come get it? No. <laughs> yeah. He wants it. <laughs> uh. One that I'm going to keep. And I wish I could see the comments. I need to try and get my computer. Ow, 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 Dobby, my knee. Ow. Thank you, Pat. I tried to get my computer turned on and it didn't turn on. And that way I could see comments, but for some reason, comments are not scrolling up. It says, and I've got it on show. I don't know what's going on. I don't know why I can't see a single comment. You know, you should be able to see them scrolling. I, um, I just downloaded this app called Streamlabs, so I'm hoping to be able to use it, um, but I didn't get a chance to, to try it out, so I have no idea how it works. But that supposedly will put the chat like on this side of the screen so that you know people can see it. So this one, this one's for their kind of mid-sized, um, it, it's called the Demi. So I'm definitely going to be getting rid of this one. I, I've never used it, still in the bag, and it's been in the bag for like two years. Oh, or more than two years. I'm trying to think, when did they stop selling? 2016 is when they stopped selling in the U.S.? Hmm. It's in my maybe pile. I don't know if I'm going to keep that or not. Ugh. Dobby! Dobby! Oh, yeah, and then this one is kind of like a clover green, just plain, and this one's for the, the bigger purse, too. So, mm. I might keep that one because I wear a lot of green. Oh, ouch, Dobby. Another Lux, which, come on, Dobby, stop. He is being really bad. This black one, yeah. 
I might possibly keep this one. Black, I mean, everybody uses black. It's kind of like a go-to. Now, I know I have another bin that I set down over here of purses. Where the heck did it go? Tom, did I leave that other bit of purses in the bedroom? Dad goes to look and see if where the other bin of purses are. <laughs> He's like, what are you doing, woman? <laughs> I wish I knew where the kitten was, because I was hoping to have the kitten play, but she probably went behind one of the sleep because kittens sleep all the time. All the time. So I guess my husband didn't hear me. You're just gonna have to, I don't know see Dobby let me see if I can put it down so you can there Dobby play for them yeah I guess he's not very good at his job sometimes. Ugh. All right. <laughs> so yeah, I found the other bag. Tom didn't even hear me say anything. So this one, this is for the Demi, sort of a coral color. I'm gonna use that forever. That should probably find a new home. And then, oh, there's another burgundy. You know what? If I kept one of these, so, because if, if I have more than one burgundy purse, I, do I really need more than one? So, yeah, I'm going to decide whether I want the, the bigger. It's like, I don't know. What do you guys think? Which one do you think is cuter? Which one should I keep? So let me know in the comments. And let's see, next. Oh, this one, this one's really pretty. This one, since I have a thing for green, I'm, I might keep this one, see if it can kind of tell. It's a very, very soft, mint kind of green oh my gosh i don't even know how many freaking purses this is it's way too many but yeah i'm probably gonna get rid of the classic completely let's see here is another this one is like a deep forest green so this one it's like should i keep this one hmm I'm thinking maybe on the Demi, I'll keep like three shells. That's plenty. Oh, and then this one, I'm definitely going to need to just find a new home for. This was the backpack style. So they're actually, it has these little tabs on the bottom. So you clip the rings on there and it has um, straps so that you can wear it, you know, wear it slung over a shoulder. I, I don't I don't wear pink so why why did I keep a pink I I don't know let me turn this back oh so that's basically my Michi collection that I have in the house um, I have a bin in the trailer and that's the stuff that I'm going to um to give away because that's those are for, those are brand new well new old stock as they say because they've They've never been opened. They were purchased to resell. 
and somebody's going to be getting some Michi in the comments. So just, you know, make sure that if you're here that you comment so that you can get a chance to win that. I mean, you never know what you're going to win. I, I still can't believe it. I um, was on Facebook and Black Milk Clothing Company, they have the most gorgeous stuff. It's a little out of my price range. I can't really afford that. But they had a um, a thing, a little contest where their labyrinth collection came out, and then all you had to do was comment and tag a friend, and then you each would win something like 180 Australian dollars worth of you know clothing from them. So I commented. I have a friend, um, Amber, who. We call her Trolly. She does troll flings, which if you don't know what troll flings are, um, her YouTube channel is in my link. Um, she doesn't post really videos very often, but she is a polymer artist who does the cutest little figurines. She is a Brian Froud artist, which means she's been recognized by, by Brian Froud, who was the designer for um, Labyrinth and many other things. I mean, just amazing. Um, she's she's awesome she does the cutest cutest things but um i tagged her i tagged her in it and they picked my comment so each of us are going to get something from black milk um she's hoping and i have my fingers crossed too that we get that kimono that has jared on the back of it holding the crystal ball i mean oh that would be so awesome if that was what i won i mean like crack my fingers so yeah just Make sure you've commented so that you meant that you have a Michi bag and what size bag you have. I'll probably pick you and, and send you some of these because um, they need to leave my house. Something else needs to enjoy them, especially like I said, this one. I I never I bought this for myself. Never ever got it out of the package, and you know if. I haven't gotten it out of a package in over, you know, two, three years. What's the use of having it? I mean, I'm, I don't know about you guys, but I have this thing where sometimes I just buy stuff. It's pretty. It's shiny. I'm like, ooh, new, pretty, shiny. I don't have this particular thing, and I start collecting stuff, and I don't need it. I don't use it. It just sits and then it's collecting dust and I really want to try and break myself of that I want to stop buying things that I don't need that's like with the LuLaRoe leggings I mean I'm wearing a pair right now but the thing is they're like 20 25 dollars each they don't last I mean, I I have ones that literally the first time I put them on, they ripped straight across the back. So you're paying a lot of money for some. Hopefully we're connected because it popped up and said that there was an issue with my stream. So anyways, I was talking about like hoarding. So no more leggings. I mean, seriously, I had probably 50 pairs. A person doesn't need 50 pairs of leggings and I only like to wear leggings around the house I don't really wear them out that much I like to dress up more if I'm out and then um, jewelry oh my gosh I mean I make jewelry so I have plenty of jewelry that I've made I have friends who sell jewelry that I've purchased jewelry from them and it just got to the point where um I'm looking and I think I have well over 200 necklaces, probably 50 to 100 bracelets, earrings. I, I have everything and I can't even use them, wear them because there's just so many that I can't deal. Yes, I think it was something on my end that there's something went wrong with my stream. Maybe my internet connection went down for a little bit, but yeah, I'm thinking. Yeah, 200, it's it's a lot. And I'm, I'm sure that's a conservative number. I probably have more than that because I went and bought um, one of those bar towel racks and then I bought these little hooks. And then on each, I mean, I think I bought over 50 hooks 
and some of those hooks have maybe five necklaces on them and that's just one area then I have one of those tall stands with the doors that open on the side that have necklaces all hung up in there then I made two holders i would gotten these wooden boxes with little um what you call it little hooks that I put on top and put them up on the walls like um little shadow boxes and those are full of necklaces and really I'm thinking I wear maybe five to ten of all of these necklaces I'm just I don't wear them so I'm probably gonna have to just find homes for most of them let my kids have first pick and then throw some in on give it giveaways or something because it's just they're taking up space I can't see the necklaces I do want to wear because of all the necklaces I don't wear and I have everything you know from the um, Chloe and Isabel to stuff I bought off of eBay um, oh my, there was some company a long time ago and everybody was having parties from it and I don't even think they're a cookie league cookie Lee I got a bunch of that stuff and a lot of that stuff is not really the best quality I mean and when you think about it Chloe and Isabel they charge a lot of money for those necklaces it's crazy and I know it's expensive because you know you got the manufacturer Chloe and Isabel's an intermediary company and then you have the reps so you know you have three lines there that have to be paid but you would think it would be better quality for the amount of money I mean it, sometimes it'll say oh real gemstones and then other times when it says it's resin and you're thinking oh resin might be kind of like glass rod. it's not it's plastic so you're paying like a premium quality you know premium price for a plastic stone just say no I mean serious if you want you can make your own jewelry go to Joann's it's super easy and it doesn't cost you $80 for a necklace because nobody should be paying that amount of money for a necklace unless it had some real stones in it yeah no real stones and it's all mass marketed on mass you know produced so you're gonna see yourself coming and going you know there are other people with the same dang thing if you buy from an indie jewelry designer at least you're gonna get better quality items and you are not going to see your piece on everybody when you head out to the mall so and I know I have a few um, subscribers who are indie jewelry designers so you know you should check them out I'm um, I think state of state of confusion she has some really beautiful stuff and she's also been um, starting on artwork and stuff doing paintings and things and she sells on eBay I don't know if she still sells on Etsy she used to sell on Etsy swirls I think was the name of her store on Etsy but yeah I I collect too much way too much between jewelry and clothes and purses and shoes oh my gosh I mean I had just done a big you know purge of shoes not that long ago because when um, I started having really bad issues with my RA my feet would swell up and I couldn't wear all my heels that were over five inches tall but I still have at least a good 150 pairs of shoes that I don't wear that are just taking up room so I really need to go through my shoes again and just do another purge and find new homes it's ridiculous and some of these I mean I I like Aldo shoes and I like um, shoes from anthropology so some of them are were not cheap shoes but my feet won't take them anymore they just say no more so it's either you know heels about yay high you know nothing over two inches I miss my high heels I mean I used to I used to dress so cute I used to do the whole pinup thing and my body is like no more tight clothes no more high heels yeah all right kind of sucks sometimes but you know it is what it is so I 
I, I wish I could see more of what you know you guys are out there I I don't know what's up with this live stream today it really sucks but leave a comment um, I'm gonna probably close this up in the next couple minutes because it looks like we've been on here for half an hour and I think that's long enough I know a couple of my friends were saying that the really long live streams were just too much for them that they they didn't have the time for it they didn't have you know the the energy to get through a super long live stream and I have to agree that you know when the live streams are really super long that you know you can't stick out the whole thing it's just too much so Tonight, I will be going through the comments, and I will, um, I have now a little comment thing that um, will randomly pick a comment, and then I will post um, and let you guys know who's won, so who gets a new purse with a bunch of shells, and, the, and like I said again, if you missed it, if you have a Michi bag, let me know what size you have because I may be sending out some of these, you know, shells here to some lucky people who have that size. So I'll just contact you and let you know. And you guys have a really good day. And I'm sorry that I couldn't find the kitten. I will make sure I have her corralled for the next live stream I do so that you guys can see all her little tiny, we I mean, she's only, she's a little handhold. And she's probably sleeping. Shouldn't bother her. All right, guys. Well, you take care. And I will talk to you later.